Hello students of grade 11. In this lesson, you will be introduced to the future perfect tense. We have already done the simple future tense and the future continuous tense. If you did get the chance to watch our previous lessons on the simple future tense, you would have understood the way in which the future tense is formed. Let's look at your pupils book. Revision point of unit 10, page 119. Let's read their definition of the future perfect tense. The future perfect tense is usually used to express an action that will be completed before some point in the future. Let's now look at the example that they have given. We had better hurry up or else our train will have left before we reach the station. The future perfect tense is for talking about an action that will be completed between now and at some point in the future. Imagine that you have asked your friend Kasuni for a book that you need urgently. She says she can let you borrow it if you come over to her home at noon. But you're busy at that time, so you ask Kasuni if you can come at 6 o'clock in the evening instead. Kasuni has to go on a trip, so she says, no, that won't work. At 6 o'clock, I will have left already. According to that example, what does the future perfect tense tell us? It tells us that Kasuni is going to leave for her trip sometime after right now, but before a certain point in the future. 6 o'clock in the evening to be precise. So, the future perfect is a verb tense that is used for actions that will be completed before some other point in the future. Let's now look at the formula for the future perfect tense. The formula is simple. Will have plus past participle. It doesn't matter if the subject of your sentence is singular or plural. The formula doesn't change. So when do we use the future perfect tense? You can use the simple future tense and the simple future tense interchangeably. In these two sentences, the meaning remains the same. Kasuni will leave before you get there and Kasuni would have left before you get there. But without prepositions such as before or by the time that make the sequence of events clear, you need to use the future perfect to show what happened first. At 6 o'clock, Kasuni will leave with her family for candy. The sentence means that Kasuni will wait till 6 o'clock to leave. At 6 o'clock, Kasuni will have left. This sentence means that Kasuni will leave before 6 o'clock in the evening. Now let's look at the example given in your pupil's book again. We had better hurry up or else our train will have left before we reach the station. Through this, it is clear that the action of the train leaving will be completed before some point in the future. So now that we know when we should use the future perfect tense, let's look at when we don't use it. The future perfect tense is only for actions that will be complete before a specified point in the future. In other words, the action you're talking about must have a deadline. If you don't mention a deadline, use the simple future tense instead of the future perfect tense. For example, the sentence, Kasuni will have left, does not make any sense because we haven't mentioned a deadline. We could change the sentence to, Kasuni will have left by 6 o'clock in the evening, which makes more sense. The deadline can be very specific, like 6 o'clock, or it can be vague, like next week. It can even depend on when something else happens, after the perihara maybe. It just has to be some point in time in the future. We could, however, use the simple future tense, and when we use this tense, we do not need to give a deadline. Kasuni will leave is perfectly fine. 
How do we make the future perfect tense negative? Making a negative future perfect construction is easy. Just insert not between will and have. You will not have eaten breakfast before we get to school tomorrow morning. They will not have finished marking our papers before Monday. You can also use the contraction won't in the place of will not. They won't have finished marking our papers before Monday. Sometimes you don't have to give specific times. You can use prepositional phrases instead. Let's look at some prepositional phrases that often go with the future perfect. By this time next week, Kasuni will have left for her trip. Three days from now, we will have finished our project. At midnight, the party will have ended. Will you have eaten already? When I travel to India, I will have been to four countries. My brother will have cleaned the garden before the guests arrive. If you noticed, all these phrases present a specific deadline. So how do we formulate a question in the future perfect tense? The formula for asking a question in the future perfect tense is will plus subject plus have plus past participle. Let's look at some examples. Will you have eaten lunch already when we arrive? Will they have finished decorating the stalls before the parade? Let's now do a small exercise together. Fill in the blanks using the future perfect tense. I will have left by six. You will have finished your homework by then. When will we have done? everything. She will have finished her exams by then so we can go out for dinner. You will have read the book before the next class. She will not have finished work by seven. When will you have completed the work? They will have arrived by dinner time. We will have been in London for three years next week. Will she have got home by lunchtime? If this lesson was helpful, do subscribe to our channel. Our next lesson will be on the future perfect continuous tense. Thank you and see you soon.